The European Super League is actually happening. All of these clubs that you can see going through here have all signed up and they've all getting crazy money bonuses that we're going to get into. And these are 12 total clubs out of 20 that are going to be playing in this tournament. And we've got loads of information. They've got their own website. They've got their own Twitter account. They are taking it extremely seriously and it looks like it is actually going to be happening. We can get into this. It's a crazy idea and there's a lot of money being backed behind it, a lot of biggest companies and we're going to get all into it in this video so i hope you guys do enjoy we've got the face cam on again so we'll see how that's going to go but competition format and first of all it does say here the best clubs the best players every single week so we already know there's a liverpool in here manchester city real madrid barcelona you guys saw all of the club badges but mainly there are a few clubs still missing out psg have said that they're not going to be in it or at least so far because they've got sort of relationships with uefa and other things and also german clubs Bayern munich rb leipzig they are not in it yet but probably if this thing's going to go through, I'm sure they're probably going to be just signing up to it. They're not going to want to miss out on the huge amounts of money. And I mean, what is Champions League going to be if these clubs aren't in it? So I'm guessing they will follow suit if this does go through. They're maybe just sitting back and waiting to see what is going to be happening. But we can see here the competition format. The Super League is a new European competition between 20 top clubs compromised of 15 founders. And now... About these founders, we know a lot of information already because this is starting to be leaked since around Sunday, midday UK. So we do know that it's being funded by JP Morgan, which is literally the biggest bank in the US. They've got 3.3 trillion in assets, which is just absolutely nuts. And you definitely don't want to be messing with them. And it looks like they really can fund this and they are going to be supporting these clubs. Each founding club supposedly is going to be offered 310 million. So that is the 15 founders. And that is why maybe they were so quick to sign up, especially smaller clubs. It's not a hit, but Arsenal and maybe a few other clubs, not smaller clubs, but maybe not doing so well. Arsenal can definitely do with 300 mil. They can make a lot of transfers and it could potentially be beneficial. But then you ask clubs like Manchester City, maybe it's just FOMO because they don't want to miss out on what's going on. But I don't really think they need the money anyway. So it is definitely a very, very crazy situation. But then there is also going to be five annual qualifiers. So we're, we're not sure what that is going to mean yet, how it's going to work. Is that just going to be from the domestic leagues? If they're not in already, then the, the, the closest position to first maybe is going to be qualifying in. We're, we're going to have to see how that is going to be. But it would make sense, one from each of the top five leagues. But Bundesliga and Ligan as well have been very, very... They're, they're not really looking to sign up yet. So we're going to have to see what's going to happen there. But there will be two groups of 10, each playing home and away fixtures within the group each year. By bringing together the best clubs and the best players in the world, the Super League will deliver excitement and drama never seen before in football. Now, that's a little bit of a controversial statement because we all know we love the Champions League games because of how unique it is and how rare it is to see it. You're not going to see Liverpool versus Real Madrid every single week, but in this proposed idea, it looks like it is going to be happening every single year, but it's sort of like, who wants to see that? Maybe at the start, it's a good concept, but after that, you're definitely going to get bored and what, what next level are you going to take it to if you're just going to be seeing the biggest clubs playing all the time? But definitely, with so many more games being played, the advertisers, the, the ticket sales, the match tickets, and also the biggest broadcaster, sort of a new upcomer, is The Zone. I'm sure we all know from boxing fights and everything like that, all of the YouTubers, The Zone played quite a big role. And I think they are full of money as well. And it's a little bit... It's a little bit dodgy scheme. It's all sort of like these huge people with loads of money, with loads of potential, and they're just selling this and they're trying to make it work. So we're going to have to see where it's going to get them. Obviously, so much backlash from all of the fans, from UEFA, from FIFA. So we're going to have to see if they're actually going to be able to get away with this. But this is what they're proposing. So we're going to have to see if it's actually going to go through or not. But the top eight clubs. So this is sort of what's going to be happening in the actual league, like after this, the best clubs, how they're going to proceed forward. So the top eight clubs following the group stage, eight clubs will qualify for a knockout tournament, playing home and away until the single match Super League Championship in a dramatic four week end to the season. So it is very, it's very brief as well. We don't actually know hard facts. It hasn't been explained by a presenter or anything like that. They are very faceless. We're not too sure how exactly 
all of this is going to be taking place. But I'm sure after there is going to be some cleanup, even these last 24 hours have just been absolutely mad. So this is all brand new. So we're going to have to see later on if it is going to get through, they will surely explain how it is going to work. And maybe in the next few years, we're just going to be used to this and we're going to know exactly how it's going to be working in the future, but hopefully not. These games are planned to take midweek. So there's been a little bit of confusion. The plan in the perfect world is to get approval from FIFA and UEFA and they are actually going to be still in their domestic leagues. Liverpool are not leaving to play the Super League. They still want to be in the Premier League and they still want to be in the Super League as well. So they want to be both. However, Premier League has basically said it's one or the other. If you're going to go for the Super League, then we're not going to allow you back to the Premier League. That is basically what is going on. But we're going to have to see if Premier League are going to still stick to their position and we're still going to have to see if Liverpool after this backlash are going to be ready to actually just move forward and they still want to going to do this but midweek games games will play be played midweek and all clubs will remain in their domestic league so I think that is clearing up quite a lot but the Champions League it does look like this is sort of a direct replacement and UEFA is basically just missing out so I would say UEFA are the ones in the biggest trouble here it's not really the leagues too much because they have said that they're working on domestic league and side by side with the super league i'm not sure how they're going to schedule that all of that with the domestic cups as well with the fa cup so many different things but solidarity and sustainability solidarity payments will grow in line with the league revenues and are expected to be in excess of 10 billion euros during the course of the initial commitment period of the founders these solidarity payments will follow a new model with full transparency and uh, regular public reporting. So that is just sort of just trying to clear their name, saying that none of this is under the books, that it's all official and they're going to be transparent, apparently, whatever that means. But we did also get a little bit more information in an actual press release or the, the, the letter of intent, but that's a little bit difficult to find. But we do have Fabrizio Romano, of course, who's always a very official source. And this was sort of last night. So this was Sunday evening. This was at 11 p.m. UK time. And these are all of the clubs. So we have AC Milan, Arsenal, Atletico Madrid, Chelsea, Barcelona, Inter Milan, Juventus, Liverpool, Manchester City, Man United, Real Madrid, and Tottenham. And we did just find out as well, Tottenham have sacked Mourinho. So everything is pretty much popping off and we're gonna have to see as well the reaction from players and also some managers but I'm not too sure if this is directly linked we're gonna have to see I think it's it's not really linked I think it was gonna happen regardless and maybe they just chose they chose this time because the press is already burning anyway so they might as well but Dortmund as well have said that they're not going to be joining so we already know Bayern Munich and sort of the whole Bundesliga clubs are very against it but we're gonna have to see in a few weeks in a few months if this is actually going to be budging or if they're going to be sticking to their position but we do know that these games are proposed to actually be starting in August it's not an idea that's going to be happening in a few years or anything like that August is when they're supposed to start kicking off and it is supposed to start so we're going to have to see again there's going to be so much many more new things that are going to be coming out but we do know that there's has been lots of different news as well FIFA obviously have said that they're against it UEFA and it's very interesting because we saw clubs like Liverpool and these are all of the chairmen so Real Madrid chairman is going to be the main chairman of the Super League so he's resigning their role at the ECA which is basically the European Club Association so this is directly pretty much giving up your job at UEFA giving up as chairman at UEFA and also sort of linked in with FIFA and they're just going to be taking their role now as the Super League so we so we also have Juventus's chairman we have Manchester United as well and there have been many more as well the Liverpool have just resigned from many different things and Champions League as well is in the question here because people are not sure what's going to be happening now some people have rumored that it could actually be just everything will be given up and PSG because they are not involved it could mean that they're going to be winning it by default but that hasn't been that hasn't been officially stated yet. There has been a few UEFA meetings and they haven't clarified anything yet as a recording of this video. But what we do know is the Super League is officially happening. And in my opinion, I think they've actually committed quite a lot in here. I, I think it's not something that they can just step away from and say it was just all sort of a big joke that they don't mean it. They were just like talking about it. They've released 
a letter of intent and it looks like they're just going to be going with it. I'm, I'm not too sure if Premier League and UEFA are going to go through with all of the threats that they're saying. They're saying the players are not going to be able to play in their national tournaments, in the World Cup and stuff like that. I think, I, I, don't, I don't see that happening. I don't see a, a World Cup without Ronaldo, without all of these big clubs, Messi and all of their players as well associated with it. I think these teams have committed a lot already. There's no turning back for them. And I think UEFA and Premier League and all of the leagues are probably just going to have to just come to an agreement somehow. And I think these they, they do have the money. They've got JP Morgan behind them. They've got everything figured out. And it looks like it's just going to be going ahead. And they don't really care what the fans think and what the, what the leagues as well, what the leagues are threatening to do. That is what it's looking like. We did get all of these annou announcements and... It looks like it's officially happening. So let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. It is very crazy. If you were on Twitter last night, it was absolutely nuts. But they have a Twitter account as well. They haven't tweeted anything from there. I have followed them just to make sure that I do get the alerts. But I'm definitely not in favor of this happening. But we're going to have to see. We're going to have to adapt. And yeah, do be also careful because there has been some fake news going on. So it's quite hard to differentiate the real and the fake. But Fabrizio Romano is a reliable source. And that is pretty much all we have on Twitter. That is pretty much all we have. But this is the sort of statement of intent that we did have. And it's a very, very long proposal. But we have pretty much summarized it. And also on their website, we have already taken a look at this. This is pretty much every single club tweeted it. So Liverpool tweeted it, Spurs tweeted it, Arsenal. And it all pretty much came to the same thing just a, a blog format on their own website. So this is a nice format, but this is pretty much what we have been through. And an August start, we already know, there is gonna be lots of different things already planned. And they're basically saying, so this is the president, so Real Madrid president, and now he's the first chairman of Super League. So I think it's quite crazy. They're just leaving their jobs Monday morning. They're no longer gonna be working at their normal Real Madrid, wherever they were, roles at the European Association. Now it's gonna be in the Super League. So it is pretty nuts, but the timing as well is mad. But again, let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. And I'm sure we're gonna find out more information and possibly we could be making an update video as well. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time.